Hey guys, today we're at Hudson, Saskatoon in the heart of downtown. Let's go have a look, check it out. Great patio, let's go. So the burgers are a triple A uh, Alberta beef sirloin and chuck mixture. It's all beef, no filler, never frozen, always fresh. So we get three different orders in a week and we're constantly rotating our, our meats in order for us to be able to do that. So it's great to know, yeah, it's uh, fresh, never frozen, it's fantastic. It makes a difference, right? When you start freezing them there, it kind of compromises the flavor a little bit, right? 100%, yeah. So we get it right on the grill. That's a nice fatty. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah, nice and thick, that's great. So we put it on. So what we do is we smash all our burgers right on the grill. Awesome. So what that does is, if you were to pre-smash and pre-press burgers, it's gonna take a lot of that juice out of the burger in that process and, and I mean, it doesn't wreck the burger, but it does take a little bit out of the burger. Awesome. So we pre-smash it, get it to a specific thickness, put a little bit of salt and pepper on top, and we leave it. Like I said, not a lot of filling in there. And what you'll notice was different between our burger than a lot of them is this is the pressed, this is the cooked. When you get to cooked, it doesn't lose a lot of the size or the shape of the burger. And that's because it's not, it doesn't have a lot of filler in it. It doesn't have a lot of pork or things like that. Oh, that's great. So it makes a diff. That's awesome, yeah. When you can keep most of the burger and none of the filler, that's, that's fantastic. Awesome. Our steaks are a certified Angus beef steak. What that means is about 4% of the steaks that are put out for consumption will actually meet that grade. Good to know, yeah. And with it being center cut, so you get your roast, has the fat cap on it. What we do is we take that roast, we take the fat cap off, so we denude it, so we get rid of that top part. Because it is a certified Angus beef, um, it has the marbling all the way through the steak, so it doesn't actually compromise the, the flavor or the tenderness that the steak is gonna get by getting rid of that fat cap. So we get rid of that, so that means when you're getting a seven ounce steak, you're getting a seven ounce steak. You're not getting, you know, and, and it's a little bit here, a little bit there, but it makes a difference. Um, and then we cut the ends off, because the ends are where it gets tough and right. chewy. Yep. So all you're left with is the tenderness of that center cut steak. And that's what makes and goes into it. We have one steak, one type of steak, but in our opinion, it's one of the best steaks. The best steak, yeah. Same kind of thing, we just put a little bit of steak spice on it and we'll just let that cook off. Medium rare, probably about four and a half minutes on one side, four and a half minutes on the other. The most popular choice, so. <laughs> it is, yeah, well, medium rare by far, right? For sure, yeah, no, that's great. And then, uh, hey, you got the fryers going, you guys got a wide variety of food, which is awesome. Super happy to be here. And what's, what do you do here? Uh, I am the assistant manager here at Hudson. So uh, yeah, it's been fun. Awesome. Uh, where are you from? I'm from London, Ontario, originally, and a couple of pit stops along the way to get me to Saskatoon. What brings you to Saskatoon? Uh, I was looking for a change from my last job, and uh, I was fortunate enough to meet Greg actually, and he offered me a position here. And uh, I've heard of great things about Hudson's, and uh, just from other locations as well. So definitely jumped on that opportunity. It's been uh, a blast for the last few years here. So, um, what's your favorite menu item? Favorite menu item is, I'm gonna give you a secret here. It's the crunchy chicken avocado, but instead of on the brioche bun, I get it in a wrap with our house salad. Uh, some of my favorite things about working at Hudson's is just the, the fun that we have here as a staff. Everyone's so close and tight-knit. It's always great seeing our staff out together and 
building friendships together and uh, just growing as a kind of a fun little family here. It's, it's been awesome. That's important, yeah. always. Great. What do you have here, Lucas? Yeah, so right here we have our steak sandwich. So as Greg mentioned earlier, it's with our seven ounce denouded top sirloin steak there. We have our awesome caramelized onions added there as well with the mushrooms, which you can get with the side of our house fries there as well. It's on a beautiful piece of garlic toast there and always served like this on every day of the week. Also, on special for lunch too, so if you're looking for a quick lunch bite, I come on down, grab our steak sandwich, it's on special every day. Looks great, Let's, uh, I can solve a bite and we'll see how it goes. Steak's nice and pink on the inside, medium rare, fantastic. That's awesome, it's really tender. You can actually taste the caramelized onions, fantastic, really good steak. All right, what do we got here? These look amazing. Yeah, so these are our Buffalo Nashville Hot Chicken Sliders here. Uh, so we think what they are is they're chicken breasts. They're triple battered in our special buttermilk and then tossed in our special house-made Nashville sauce as well on our perfect slider buns there with some pickle and coleslaw there as well. Those look fantastic. Do you want me to cut it? What's the best way to eat these? Best way is just, just grab one slider and dig in, honestly. Might make a bit of a mess, but uh, yeah. here I can do it. <laughs> I might need that one. <laughs> <laughs> Great, I can't wait to look at, look at like a slob on my face, right? Like, but, uh, I mean, if you want to cut them, go for no, it. No, no, it's all good. The presentation is fantastic, so I can't wait to try this. So yeah. let's, uh, let's give this a shot. Oh, come on. You can taste the buttermilk, it's really, really crunchy. Really good. It's got that kick as well too, so. Really good, really like these. Yeah, awesome. So Hudson's is famous for their wings and we've got quite a few here. Uh, tell us about them, Lucas. Yeah, absolutely. So we're really proud of our wings. We do half price wings every Wednesday all day. Uh, so we have a selection of our wings right here. So we have our most popular flavor, which is our maple whiskey barbecue here. In the middle, we have our honey sriracha, which is a perfect brand of uh, sriracha sauce and just actual honey, a really great flavor there. And the sweet chili as well. Kind of goes under appreciated, I think a little bit, but a really great flavor. Uh, actually, my favorite wing flavor that we have here. It's got the, the kick in there, I assume, with the, the sriracha in there. Yeah, absolutely. Awesome. All right, well, we're, we're gonna try these out. We'll have a, have a wing. I'll try the maple whiskey barbecue. I'm gonna have my favorite, the sweet chili. Awesome. You definitely taste the maple in that one. It's fantastic. Yeah, it's great. This would probably be my go-to if I were for getting wings. So, yeah. you know, it's not overly spicy. It's not, you know. Uh, this one's my favorite. You get a little bit of sweet, a little bit of spice. It's kind of perfect blend for me. Awesome. Good to know. Yep. Yeah. I'd have, I'd have, have a, a tough time picking wings here because it'll be <laughs> a lot of choices. So. Awesome. What do we got here, Lucas? This looks amazing. Yeah, so this is our champion burger, and uh, you gotta be a champion to finish this one. It's got two of our house patties, that's AAA Alberta beef there. In between them, you have our Canadian cheddar, and then you also have our maple whiskey barbecue mayo to, on the buns there. You have our back bacon, which kind of fits in between there. Top it off with our regular burger toppings, which is a tomato, a pickle, and some lettuce there. Then we have our onion ring right on top there. And then right on top of the actual brioche bun, we do have our deep fried pickle, or our frickle as we like to call them here. That's fantastic. It looks like a mouthful. I uh, don't know if I'll be able to eat that myself, but I'll give it a shot. Let's yeah, there you, there you go, yeah. Nice crispy bacon on the bottom there as well. Oh, that looks awesome. Do you leave the pickle on top or you? Hey, it's a dealer's choice here. I've seen people cut it. I've seen people kind of go for everything here. Okay, we'll give it a cut and we'll see, uh, we'll see how that goes. So. Yeah. Oh, that's, it's a pretty big burger, so <laughs> uh, it's not for the faint of heart, so if you... Reminds me of the heart attack place in, uh, in Vegas, so... <laughs> yeah, that's a good kind of view of everything there on the inside there as well. Let's get this... Uh, oh, keep it together. Oh, I didn't cut it all the way. Oh, the bacon. Yeah, the bacon's got you there. Yeah, unfortunately, yeah. Yeah, so you can see right there the mushrooms, the back bacon, the cheese, a couple patties there, and the crispy bacon as well. That's stacked pretty high, so... <laughs> 
Okay, I don't know. I'm trying to figure out how I'm supposed to eat this, but it's gonna be a, me a messy shot. Oh, oh, pickle's stuck now. <laughs> Really good burger, really soft. The uh, it's moist. The patty's moist. You find a lot of times the patties are dry. Definitely not the case here. Tons of flavor in this thing. Definitely worth a try. So give it a shot. All right, Lucas, we got another burger here. This one isn't quite as tall, but it looks just as good. Yeah. All right. So this right here is our maple whiskey barbecue burger, and this is actually a part of our Monday deal. So come in on a Monday for burger and fries. $10, so combined, so great there. So this burger in particular has obviously built from the bottom there with our brioche bun, uh, lettuce, we have our tomatoes, we have our onion and our pickle. Then we also have our Canadian cheddar as always on top of our AAA beef there. Then we have our bacon, and then it's topped with our maple whiskey barbecue sauce as well as our barbecue mayo. That looks great, I uh, can't wait to try it. $10, great deal, make sure you check it out. So let's, uh, let's have a bite. Out. Can't say I'm a pro cutter, but we'll <laughs> so have a peek at that. That burger looks great. All right, let's have a bite of this, and we'll see how it goes. So this looks a little bit more uh, hand friendly, but. <laughs> the sauce here is good. It's a little bit different. It's like a barbecue candy sauce. Um, it's great. Another great burger. Nice job, guys. All right, Lucas, we got, it looks like we got a poutine here. Yeah, so we have our special campfire poutine here. So it's everything that you'd expect in a gravy poutine, which is crispy fries with the cheese curds and the gravy, except we've added a few things to it. So we have some crispy bacon in there. We have some beef in there as well. Uh, we have sour cream that you can see right on top with the tomatoes and the green onions there as well. And then just a dabble of hot sauce on top to give it a little extra kick, nice little campfire flavor to it. Oh, it looks amazing. It's probably one of the best poutines I've ever seen. So can't wait to try it. Let's give it a shot. You do the honors. Oh, thanks. <laughs> We get a little bit of everything in there. Mm -hmm. Wow. Absolutely unreal. Oh yeah. I'll definitely order this again, that's for sure. All right, Lucas, thanks for having us, uh, showing us all these menu items. Uh, I'm pretty full now, so <laughs> <laughs> it's great food. Um, like you said, uh, thanks so much, and I really appreciate it. Yeah, no, thank you. Thanks a lot for coming down. It's nice to see you. Yeah, you too. Hey, guys, we know Hudson's got one of the best patios in Saskatoon. Make sure you check it out. Grab your friends, grab a date, grab your favorite pooch. It is dog friendly. Make sure you check it out. I like Hudson's because the outdoor area is amazing, and they let my dog come here, and the drinks are amazing, and I love the lights. And it's just really nice to be downtown in an outside area. Honestly, I just love the good vibes. It's always good weather, and you can't really find a good patio downtown. So this but also at night, they have the dance floor opening up yes. on Saturdays and Fridays. That's amazing. I love that because there's very really, like you have to like go to like divas or something just to like do that. But here it's like a little, it's like all the best of both worlds. Like you can dance, you can drink, you can sit outside. And it has the Canadian vibes. Yeah, really we need good the Canadian vibes. vibes. Very good Canadian vibes. That's the most important thing. I love the wings. Typically. <laughs> Last time I came here, what did I have? I had I think the chicken tacos. Delish. Very good. Chicken tacos, chicken wings, yes. And the nachos are also really good. Yeah, and it's just nice to bring my dog out because a lot of places don't like to have your doggy. I love the just the lager here and then I put clam in it, which kind of destroys it for some people, but I love it. <laughs> I love a good Gin Gen Caesar for sure. But also on Fridays. I love the tequila shots. Like if you were to come here and you're lined up and that lineup is so long because it's so popular and then you finally get in, you have to have a tequila shot. And tequila shot for sure. Yeah. <laughs> hey guys, we've got Brittany here from Hudson, Saskatoon. Uh, let's, let's ask her some questions. Tell us about yourself. All right, uh, my name is Brittany. I have been working at Hudson for 10 years. I actually started off as a hostess and one of the managers at the time insisted that I start serving. And I was absolutely terrified, but I never looked back after that. And then I welcomed myself into management, and yeah, I've just been supervising ever since. <laughs> yeah. So 
Your job title is? I'm a supervisor here, yeah. Good to know, mm -hmm. awesome. And are you from Saskatoon originally? I, ha I am, yes. Born and raised? Born and raised. Great, uh, what's your favorite menu item? Uh, well, I'm vegan, so I can give a great list of options to you, but the best thing for a vegan is the Power Bowl. It's just so delicious, extra filling, and feels nice and healthy. <laughs> awesome, what's in the Power Bowl? Uh, it's jasmine rice. Uh, you'll get a delicious saute peanut sauce. We'll have some pickled carrot on there, some roasted uh, broccoli with a bunch of other delicious options. Yeah, and tofu's so good on there. <laughs> Sounds amazing. Um, what do you like most about working here? Like, what's the people, what are the people like? What's the environment like? What's the culture like? So you know, even before the pandemic, the, the amount of people that come in, um, it's just been so wonderful to see everybody like come together even during like the, the pandemic and the hard times and whatnot and just see everybody really enjoy themselves um come in with their friends and family and just yeah have a great time and i just like being around that energy good, good to know that's yeah. awesome what's your favorite drink what's your go-to drink here uh my favorite go-to drink would probably be the spiked blueberry lemonade it's it's so good Sounds amazing. So you know. fresh blueberries. You just can't go wrong with that. <laughs> Might have to get the bartender to whip some up. So we'll see how it goes. So. Your new favorite for sure. Awesome. Great. Thanks so much. Leo no, no, Hudson's no. got great cocktails. We're gonna go check in with one of the bartenders. See what the featured drinks are. Let's go have a look. Hey guys, I got Cam here from Hudson's. He's one of the bartenders here. He's gonna talk about some of our feature specials that they got going on this month here at Hudson's. Hi, welcome. Thank you for uh, joining us. We have a bunch of feature stuff going on for the summer. Fantastic cocktails going on. Uh, along with that, we have two sangrias. Uh, they come in two sizes. We do single serving as well as a pitcher that will serve roughly about three people. Um, the one is made with Prosecco and the other one's made with Rosé. Great for the patio. We are also doing a Grand Margarita special. Those things are fantastic. If you're anything like me, you gotta love the margaritas with it. That one's special because we use a Grand Marnier instead of a triple sec in it to give it a little bit of extra zip. And yeah, um, some of our classic cocktails that we do for the summer are, uh, uh, excuse me, sled dogs. Uh, today we're gonna make for you the lead dog, which we use a cider, a raspberry vodka, and we use a peach slush to top it all off and give it a nice fruity, colorful look to it. Sounds like you got, got a lot of good drinks here happening. Okay. So uh, yeah, let's let's go take a look. Uh, we lead the way. So first we're gonna make a John Candy, one of our signature cocktails here. We're gonna be using three olives, grape mm -hmm. vodka, half an ounce of that, half an ounce of the blue curaco. And we fill it up with half 7-Up and bar lime. You got a beautiful drink right there. All right, let's 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 give this a shot. It looks delicious. Wow, that's unreal. Absolutely unreal. Worth trying. Make sure you check it out. So the second one we're gonna work on today is a pitcher of our rosé sangria. So we're gonna use a whole bottle of the rosé rose wine here. Entire bottle. Whew. Some pineapple juice here. And this is a strawberry puree. A nice beautiful color and we top it off with some ginger ale and a nice stir there garnish with some blueberries And this is our jug. It serves roughly about three people. Hold on. There we are. Rose sangria. 
This looks absolutely refreshing. Can't wait to try it. Wow, if you're a big Sangria fan, you wanna try this. Amazing. And lastly, we have one of our feature beer cocktails here. Um, this one we use raspberry cider, or raspberry vodka. My apologies. We'll fill it up with an apple cider here. And top it off with a nice peach slush. Another amazing drink it looks like they've got here. So let's, let's have a sip, see what we think. Awesome too, Lo love it here. The drinks here are great. Make sure you try them out. Long summer, hot summer, tons of beverages. Get one in you. Yeah. All right, Cam, thanks for making us those drinks. They, they all look absolutely amazing. Uh, appreciate it, appreciate the time. And if you're, if you're at Hudson's, make sure you check out Cam. Thank you, come in for some great drinks. Hey guys, I got Greg Clark here, uh, General Manager of Hudson, Saskatoon. So we're gonna have a sit down and chat with him and ask him a few questions. All right, uh, Greg, tell us about Hudson, Saskatoon. Um, we've been around for 10 years. Um, it's, uh, it's been a great 10 years. Uh, the city of Saskatoon has been super supportive and inviting to us. You know, what started as you know, your general Canadian pub, uh, lunchtime, dinner, a little bit of late night, things like that, has taken off into something that's um, you know completely unique to our company, to be honest with you. We have uh, a lot of parties that we book in. We've got a large back room that we do you know, up, upwards to about 100, 100 people parties. We do a lot of fundraisers, stuff like that, a lot of corporate parties, uh, right down to just you know stags, stagettes, and big birthdays. Um, so it's been, uh, it's really unique that way. We do large sporting events. We've you know, been fortunate to host uh, a lot of great events over the last 10 years. We've had the Stanley Cup here, we've had the Grey Cup here, we've had the Memorial Cup here. Um, you know, and, and the, the players and coaches and team owners that follow with that, um, which has been uh, fun and been fortunate to have amazing staff. Uh, a lot of that is the, you know, that Saskatoon um, upbringing, I think, and you know, hardworking and just, just great people. So um, the last 10 years has been awesome. It's, it's been an absolute blessing to us and a pleasure. Sounds like a good ride, you know. Uh, it's a great spot. Um, you know, people are always excited about Hudson's. One of the most popular places, you know, you come here on a Friday or Saturday night and it's lined up down the street. Like the, I can see where you're coming from. The, the community's really embraced, you know, Hudson's. And, you know, I've been to a ton of fundraisers here. I think it's fantastic. You guys do a great job. Um, you know, tell us about yourself. Tell us about your family, you know. Yeah, we moved here uh, just over 10 years ago to um, to start this business and, you know, brand new to Saskatoon and just instantly um, connected with, with a lot of different people and in a lot of different areas, the sports area, um, the business community, and just, you know, that, just that core of, of Saskatoon and we we're fortunate with that and uh, now it's become a place that we you know, definitely call home and we love being here and we've raised our son for the last 10 years here and he's well established and I'm proud to say we're from Saskatoon now. So it's, awesome. it's been awesome. So Hudson's got a great history. Uh, tell us a little bit more about Hudson's. Yeah, so I mean, Hudson's is different to everyone. I, I think you know, we wear a lot of different hats uh, and that's kind of what makes us unique. We, we do a great lunch program. Um, we appeal to a lot of businesses down in the area. So we get a good draw from from lunchtime there and then also you know we repeat that at, at happy hour and you see a lot of the same familiar faces and then as we go into the evening um, we have more the the groups of people that want to go out as friends and get together and, and be a little bit more social and um, you know we start to see that build up and then of course on the weekends um, we have a little dance floor we like to think of ourselves as that nightclub alternative uh, in those areas and that's sort of built off of you know, people just not wanting to leave, and I know I, I, I'll go out with my wife, and you know she wants to go and dance a little bit, and I just want to sit and chat. I'm not a huge dancer, um, and that's kind of where that has built off of is to give that option for hey, you know, you don't have to leave. We still have a dance floor and have some fun, but you know, with some defining differences between that night, that what a nightclub is versus kind of uh, 
what we consider a super pub or you know, a party night or something like that. Um, sporting events are always great. They're a lot of fun. You know, we played around with putting TVs on the patio last year and having some stuff outside. And um, you know, and as of late, we've gotten involved with some bigger events. You know, we've started doing our block party outside, and um, you know, who knows where that takes off to. So. A lot of different hats. We try to appeal to as many people as we possibly can, but still, you know, always giving great service and just a good, fun, safe environment. Sounds like a jack of all trades at Hudson's and Saskatoon. So, lots to do, lots of options. You know, nightlife, like you said, daytime lunch hours. I've had my fair share of lunches here, so I, uh, I really enjoy it here as well. So, great job here. You've got a great staff. They're very supportive. Uh, they're fantastic. Best service I've had in a long time. Sounds like you guys got a great menu here at, at Hudson's. Um, tons of options. I've seen everything from you know pub style food, appetizers to the you know the big main courses. So do you want to tell us a little bit about the, the menu here at Hudson's? Yeah, we've always been high on quality for for our level of food. So I mean, our food costs in comparison, I would say, to probably a lot of places within our um, our our realm, our, our, our bar industry. Um, we would definitely be a little bit more expensive on that food cost than what it's costing us um, because the quality is is key and you know we we're Canadian so we focus on Canadian products so all of our proteins that we bring in are Canadian sourced proteins um, you know we produce where we can but obviously with our weather it's sometimes it's difficult to do that but um, you know our beef our steaks our, our seafood or even our pork and, and chicken are all sourced from um, Canadian homes primarily Alberta and Saskatchewan um, as we try to try to source that the most um, we, we will always have pub, a pub menu, we'll always have pub style food, um, but we really focus on high quality products within that food. So we have burgers, we have nachos, we have wings, and the same as a lot of different pubs that you're going to go to, uh, but our wings are sourced to be high quality, and, you know, it's a specific size. We have a wing to sauce ratio that we use, um, you know, the bigger the wing, the, the more that chicken can overpower the sauce and the smaller the wing the more that sauce can overpower the chicken so we physically count the chickens chicken wings in the box to make sure it's the accurate count within a couple to make sure we're getting that right size to the, wing, to the sauce ratio so we take a lot of steps to make sure that our food is as, as 100 percent as we possibly can our burgers you know they're always fresh never frozen they're smashed fresh on the grill uh, they're you know 100% um, AAA Alberta sirloin chuck blend, so it's all beef. There's no um, no additives, no fillers, no pork or things like that added into it. And um, you know a lot of different options with that as well. So we understand that there's a lot of different dietary things out there nowadays. So gluten-free options, um, vegetarian options, stuff like that. We offer a plant-based burger option. Um, we also you know just reintroduced a bison option with our with our. Um, steaks we discussed a little bit about that you know with it being a you know 29 to 32 day aged uh, steak that we use again AAA certified Angus beef uh, locally sourced and um, you know other things like our you know, our pork and our, our roast and, and all of these things it's not even the fact that they're just their quality source a lot of them are made daily in-house a lot of our foods and our sauces and stuff with exception to our breads and we've tested that out we just can't you know, for the for the quantity to maintain the quality it just we haven't been able to sort of hit that secret for success there but outside of that you know cooking cooking off a lot of our stuff here in house making it as fresh as possible is um, something that we're really proud of and i think it's something that a lot of people don't know that we I'm a strong believer in uh, quality over quantity, so it sounds like you know you guys have a great product. Um, having the higher quality uh, ingredients makes such a big difference when it comes to you know taste and and, and customer service, so um, and customer appreciation. So that's one thing. It's good to know that you guys go that extra mile when it comes to your quality products and your quality ingredients that are involved with uh, your menu. So that's fantastic. Uh, Hudson's got one of the greatest patios in Saskatoon. It's uh, very very well run now, and a lot of people visit it. Um, tell us about the patio. Yeah, well, the patio, honestly, it's been a progression. We started out with only being able to do a sliver of a patio uh, that would run around the side of the building, and that was great for, for what we could get. Um, but we found that it just didn't have that, that energy and the excitement that sort of a side-by-side -side patio has. Um, 
So we actually talked to the city quite a few years back and we just presented the, the opportunity or the option of doing something a little bit further out onto the street. And um, you know, the city embraced the, the idea and they jumped on it right away and, and they worked with us. And um, together we created uh, this uh, sidewalk style patio that has just been amazing for us. And um, you know, we grew it out, we did some work with uh, local company Strata and um, got the design together and you know, the rest is history, but it's been fantastic and it's worked really well and um, you know, I think it adds to our you know, everything that we do, our lunch, dinners, sporting events, you know, with those TVs that we pop out there and um, you know, of course our late nights. And yeah, it's a great patio. Uh, make sure you check it out. Um, I've had my fair share of drinks and lunches over here. So once again, it's a fantastic place to have lunch, dinner, date, uh, meetings, whatever you like. Make sure you check it out. Hey, right, Greg. Uh, thanks so much for having us. Uh, it's been actually a pretty wild experience here. Uh, it runs great. Um, you got a great, great team here, great product, uh, great location. Uh, I can't say enough good things about Hudson, Saskatoon. So right on. thanks. Awesome. Appreciate you doing it. Thanks, Greg. Okay, thanks. It's awesome. Yeah. Take care. There you have it, guys. Hudson, Saskatoon, what a great adventure. We got to see everything about this place. It's fantastic. Make sure you check it out for lunch. Check it out with the nightlife. You know, they've got a great dance floor. Uh, it's fantastic. So stop by Hudson, Saskatoon today. Uh, we're gonna give away a $500 gift cards. So make sure you follow, like, subscribe, and you might be one of our lucky winners. So five $100 gift cards up for grabs. Make sure you pop in. Uh, we got some more videos coming soon, different places, different spots to eat in Saskatoon. Uh, it is the land of food here. So make sure you check it out. So thanks, have a good day.